everyone, and welcome back to theCUBE's live ongoing coverage of HPE Discover Barcelona 2023. We are here at the FIRA Barcelona Gran Via. I'm Rebecca Knight, your host, along with my co-host Rob Streche. We've already had four guests today. It's, it's, it's so much great content. A lot, lot of great stuff, a lot of how you're going to use AI, how you're going to build for AI, and at the same time, how do you have an infrastructure, because that data is all over the place, and by the way, it needs to be protected. It sure does. And that's going to lead into where we're going here. <laughs> well, Good point. Here we yes. <laughs> yes. Loved it. I think you would agree with that, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. I can't agree more. That's so it. I want to introduce Tim Felsa. He is the SVP EMEA at Veeam Software. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. Well, thank you for having me. Brilliant to be here in this beautiful city, in this beautiful event, great people, so. Yes, all right. It's my pleasure. Okay, a, a great segue. So, as, as Rob was just saying, security is a big issue, whether it's from human error or a malicious attack. Companies, are, this is something that is really occupying the minds of CISOs and, and everywhere. How, talk about the joint value proposition between Veeam and HPE and how you are helping data-driven organizations safeguard their data. No, absolutely, thank you very much, and it's a really good segue in because you nailed it, right? I mean, every time you're picking up the newspaper, you see, a company was getting attacked, data was robbed, data is locked, ransomware, you know, all these things that are happening every day and literally in, across you know, all the industry. So our job is to make, keep our customers' business running. So but we have the right software, right? But software is one piece, and there's the whole infrastructure piece, the hardware piece that HPE and ourselves are partnering up together. And this is actually the number one solution that we can get out there on the market. Our software has been proven really to, to keep customers' businesses secure. And HPE stuff has been proven to keep their customers' business running all the time, so what better way than we can collaborate together, right? So this is what brings us together in this partnership. It's a long-living partnership, really, right? We're doing this for many, many years for now, and we've been growing together, we've been expanding our base together, and we still keep on winning customers, and we still keep on showcasing customers together that are helped with the solutions that we offer together. So, and, really. and Antonio talked about a lot about hybrid cloud, and he has been talking about hybrid cloud, and I, I think a piece of that is people don't just use on-premise data anymore. They have other things like they have Office 365 and SaaS based. And a big piece of what you bring to the table is being able to protect a lot of that. Well, you see, I think that, that what we bring to the table as HPE and as Veeam is basically the freedom of choice to the customer because as you rightly say, hybrid cloud is a major topic that we see. However, there's still traditional companies that have data on premise. You know, look into banks, look at insurance companies, right? For them, it's the part of that stuff is on premise, part is in the cloud, the private cloud, and part is in the public cloud, so it's everywhere. So our solution has always been focused first and foremost to guide customers into the cloud journey. However, we can support all of the on-premise and the hybrid ones. So if you look into what customers are using today, once we get secure the on-premise stuff, look into what else we do on the cloud space. We're protecting Salesforce. We acquired a company called Customs a couple of years ago right. where we're looking into the Kubernetes environments that we are protecting together, right? And if you look into Microsoft 365 offering where everything is in cloud, guess what? That data needs to be protected as well. So we're offering all of these things together, but we're offering it as a freedom of choice to the customer. Same as HP does, going through GreenLake, going through a classic offering, with the way whatever you want it, whatever you want to consume it, we are there for you, we can partner with the customers. Yeah, I actually got to talk to the Kasten folks at uh, KubeCon. Fantastic. In uh, CloudNativeCon in Chicago. Uh, briefly out there, and then I think again when it was in Amsterdam last year, and I, I think, or earlier this year, and I, I think that what's, to your point about the freedom of choice, organizations aren't just doing one thing either, right? It's, it's more, I'm, I, have, I have a container environment on Kubernetes, I have, a SaaS delivered software, and by the way, I still have my traditional apps that run my business. Are, so are you going in together with them to really architect out that choice so that they can cover, have a minimally viable company that they can bring back up if something goes bump in the middle of the night? Oh yeah, so, so basically, again, we're doing whatever the company needs is. But if you look into big enterprises, for example, and we're working with a lot of them, right? In fact, you know, we are reaching 80% of the Fortune 2000 companies today with our solutions, and also together with HPE solutions as part of that. So the way that those companies are run, it's a complex environment. There's no one solution fits all for every sort of data and every project that they're having and every development stack that they're running on. So this is why we, we need to, you know, 
be capable of working together with the customers to make sure that we have the right solution for them. So we're partnering together with our customers, that's the way we see it. And, and you're also talking about edge. I mean, edge is a huge thing, and edge to cloud is super big, right? So a lot of customers that we're seeing, we're asking for an as a service solution. So we have a company called Cirrus, we acquired them, it's part of our solution stack. So if you want it, and that's again coming back to freedom of choice, if you want to consume as a service, we are there, right? So that's perfect. But we, we can do everything together, together with our great partners like HP. And I was going to say, you also have, a, an, I know the company a little bit, and you have a, a network of cloud service providers as well that do backup as a service and things of that nature. Absolutely. And I, I would say that, it, it, again, it goes to that freedom of choice and things of that nature, but you also do uh, pretty significant integrations with Store Once and their Catalyst yes. software as well. Yes, and thank you for raising the point with, the, with our Beam Cloud service providers and in general the channel stuff. I mean, our company has always been 100% dedicated to channel, right? And to alliances and to partners. And why is that? Simply because, again, we do believe that there's a solution that the customer requires and it's more than just one piece of software or just one piece of hardware, but it's the combined things that are coming together. So that's why we're always bringing in that whole intelligence piece to our customer space. How do you, how do you choose your partners? I mean, the HPE, you've had a long, very strong partnership with them for a yeah. long time. But as you said, you, you want to make sure you give customers choice and, and be able to provide the right solution for the right customer. How do you choose your partners? How do you, how do you collaborate with them and innovate? Well, you know, it's typically based on reliability and trust, right? And with HPE, we've, we've acquired so much trust over the years as a common solution, and we get the proof by our customers. And we've got big car manufacturers that we're working together with on the customer account, so we know that works for them, right? So if you have these things, why don't you just take them also to other customers? Because there's 100% trust from a customer, from HPE to us, from us to HPE. So this is how we get there, right? But clearly also saying, you know, if the customer is looking into a different route to market, we can definitely do that, but we will always push for working together with the fantastic partners that we have as HPE. And so what are the big things that you're hearing from customers? And because there's a lot of regulation going around, everybody's talking AI, there's data protection, there's PII and all of this. What are you hearing from customers when it comes to really you know, data resilience and data protection, especially in EMEA here? It's getting more and more important, right? Especially, I mean, we're in the European Union, right? So European Union has been the number one in setting this, this data protection regulation that we have and that we need to all to adhere to. If you look into the autonomous driving market, for example, there's tons and tons of petabytes coming in every day that need to be stored somewhere, and also need to be analyzed, of course, but they need to be stored just in case to be safe. If something happens, that the company who delivered the solution can be sure that they did nothing wrong with that, right? So that's endless stuff that you need, and you also need to be able to recover it instantly. So there's two parts again. One is you need to store it somewhere, the other part is the intelligence of the software that you need to put it onto the stack. So I'm, we're hearing from customers these stories like every day. We're hearing that the data resiliency is, is a super important thing for them. Data security, it goes on and on and on because literally, coming back to the beginning of our talk, you see it and you read it every day on news. There's always more attacks, so we really get the feedback. Can you please help us as Veeam, or as Veeam together with HPE, to help us protect our data, make sure that we can't be affected because if we are losing our data, if we lose access to data, that's a huge cost associated with it for every hour that's happening, right? So, these are the big talk tracks, along with AI. AI is the new thing that's basically coming up. A lot of companies are still struggling with, well, when we have this data, we know what data is getting extracted, how can we make sure these are safe and secure? How can we make sure AI is used in the proper way, the right way, and not in a misleading one? So these are big, big things that we're seeing every day as feedback from customers. Well, you're talking about a lot of um, ethical issues here, responsibility issues, and, and sustainability is really part of that too. How are you approaching sustainability with your customers? Because that's a real theme here in terms of, uh, in terms of thinking about AI as, as an energy intensive technology, but that every, co every company wants to get in on. Yeah, thank you, that's, a, that's also a very good question because sustainability in terms of us as a backup company is, is per se not really a given if you think about it firsthand, but on the other hand, if you do it right, and if you do your, your, your backup and your recovery right, there's only one place you need to go, right? So that saves a lot of energy because you're, you're concentrating it onto one piece, you don't need to go to the other ones. If you're doing it right, it also saves a lot of resources by putting these data into some places. So that's saving a lot of resources because it's only on one place that you need to go. 
And if you also look into the everyday digitalization, I mean, having the right data at the right time without having a loss of data prevents people from needing to do this stuff manually on, you know, doing their everyday lives, going somewhere, driving somewhere, all these things, because they're just available online. So basically a lot of things that you can do from your home. And this is how we are working together with, with customers, and this is where we are showing the value of us in sustainability. Yeah, I, th I think there was a stat yesterday even on, uh, in the Atmosphere keynote where they talked about the average ransomware attack is now costing like 1.8 million I'll, I'll say euro, because I don't remember if it was dollars or euros <laughs> yeah. or whatever they said, but it's about the same, unfortunately, right now anyways. But when you start to look at it, the cost of doing nothing is enormous, and it's board level. You have regulations like in France where they have even protecting your cloud, your stuff that's in cloud, you need to be, for financial services companies, you need to be able to be back up and running within 24 hours, it's in, so are you seeing customers come to you and saying, hey, how do you help us meet these SLAs and these regulations, is of that course. a big piece? Of course, we see that all the time, and as you rightly say, do, the cost of doing nothing is huge. Right, so we, and, and fairly, frankly saying, you know, backup is like the last line of defense, so you need to do a lot of things before that, before you actually need a backup. So of course, and we're working together, and, and we're also working with security alliances to make sure that we're not even getting to the place where you need your last line of defense, but where it happens you know, earlier in the cycle to prevent a lot of cost. Right? So we're also partnering with companies like Sophos and other ones in terms of the security part, just to make sure that we're helping our customers not cross the bridge of falling into, a, into the trap spending loads of money. Yeah, helping them understand also what's a known good backup and oh, things Oh, absolutely, of that and you know, we are learning from our customers every day on what a good approach is. We're also taking that and applying that to our broad customer base. We're taking feedback very seriously, but we're also taking analyst feedback seriously. We try to bring it into a product and product development so we can make sure that our customers' data are as secure as they humanly can be. And it can be, but your technology can be consumed in multiple ways. Can you talk a little bit about how you are innovating with HPE to, to make sure that you are able to drive this seamless experience for the customer who also, as you said, wants choice and wants performance and wants compliance yeah, and wants so, security so when, and sustainability? I mean, so when working with HP, I mean, our products are basically on the prices of HP, right? So they can be bought through HPE even. So if you go to HPE and you want to have a good solution around resiliency and data security and backup, there's a good choice that they offer you a solution when Beam comes naturally with it because it's simply embedded into their offering and their go to market piece. So, you know, you can do it from there, but you can also buy it from any channel or any partner out there, but also, again, as I said earlier, you can consume it as a service with our new offering called Cirrus. And so, everything's there. What, what's, what's the one point that you want to get across to customers who are watching this today about how you know, it's better together, HPE and Veeam. Well, the number one thing I would say is you, if you are working with data, and everyone needs to think that through what data am I working with, you're using your laptops, is this the edge, are you working on more data that's basically more on the infrastructure side, whatever you have, right? Think about it in the morning when you wake up, is my data secure? And if that is not secure, and you're, you're relying on your data, then better do something today. And that's especially true if you're working for big corporations, if you're working for mid-sized companies, then just you know, give HP a ring, give us a ring, send us a mail, contact us, whatever you want, and we'll be happy to help you and guide you through this process. We'll hold your hand. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Thank we you so much. We holding hands. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Tim, for coming on theCUBE. A really fun conversation. Thank you very much for having me. I'm Rebecca Knight for Rob Strecce. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's coverage of HPE Discover 2023 in Barcelona. You are watching theCUBE, the leader in high-tech technology enterprise coverage. Thank you.